everybody and welcome back y'all know what tonight is it was the have and the have not hey <laughs> so anyway let's get on into it honey because oscar is not dead <laughs> she done pulled the water on him do, did what they had to do got him up running around getting dressed getting back up in his clothes and he wigging out talking about bring me a computer i need a computer Bring me a computer right now. <laughs> Candace got him up in there sweating, okay? <laughs> he was about to go crazy. And he was like, okay, okay, Candace, tell me you didn't. Tell me you didn't, Candace. Tell me you didn't. Anyway, let's So here Rocco is down here running his mouth at the bar and everything, talking about what is Candace up to, blah, blah, blah. I feel like Rocco going to be replacing Candace, and now he going to be the one instead of war running around trying to get Candace get get even because he um, been shorted by some money or whatever. Now it's going to be Rocco trying to get after Candace because he's going to feel like he's been slided over some coins. Because Candace, y'all know how Candace is when it comes to the coins. <laughs> shade. Yes, some shade. Because she don't be wanting to give people all their money. And y'all know how they be feeling about their money. And I don't blame them for all the dirty work they be doing for Candace. I'm going to want my coins and I'm going to want my money too. I'm not going to be sitting up here doing all this work for free and then she want to hand me some chum chains, three, four, five hundred dollars or whatnot. And she's sitting over there on, on tens and thousands of millions. That's that kind of stuff right there. Like they got her kid before. You'd have thought she'd have learned a lesson. But we all talking about Candace here. But anyway. Um, Oscar figured out that Candace about to get this money, so he gonna be straight slick, and he gonna go on and call Jim <laughs> and tell Jim, oh, Jim, I did that job for you. It's done, and it's over. The money's been transferred. Can I get paid today? Because he know Candace working on getting that money, because right now, it's showing that it's in the cry company account, but that little money <laughs> not gonna stay up in there. It's sure not, because guess who about to have them millions? She keep working at it, she gonna have it. So I can't wait till the next episode Y'all need to watch this so y'all can get all the tea on this episode. But anyway, it was somebody down in the bar listening to everything Rocco and his big mouth was saying. I told y'all, if y'all watched my last review, um, somebody was going to be down in that bar listening. Because who always down there? <laughs> 5 12 12 always down there listening and lurking. And guess who was down there listening and lurking? <laughs> I believe the dude gonna be um, an undercover because you know I told y'all last review I think Rocco is an undercover. But I don't know. it. Uh, not Rocco. That little boy he had working for him. But anyway moving on along. Benjamin done really got on my doggone nerves because I don't appreciate how he's still doing Melissa. He being mean to the girl like I said on the last review. He crawled all up in the girl treats. <laughs> he didn't have no trouble being up in that girl treats. But here you go. You want to be mean to her, what not, or what have you. Still telling her she can't stay there. How you call and talk to your mama? How you talk to your mama? Because last time we talked to your mama, your mama told us that Melissa could stay. She told us that. She told you that. She told Melissa that. Why you the only one that can't comprehend it? Hmm. <laughs> And like Melissa, Melissa got him together real quick. Okay, she's like, okay, a grown man staying with his mama. <laughs> girl, come through, Melissa. Melissa ain't the one to be uh pushed down. You need to go over and call this girl Candace fooling with that. Candace keeps slapping upside her head and teach her a thing or two and teach her to stop laying down and being people punching bags. <laughs> And she better learn how to duck. Because I'm going to tell you, Candace won't have ammo time, time to slap me. We going to tear up a doggone hotel room or bar or whatever we at. We going to tear it up. We about to roll. Because Candace ain't going to be keep laying hands on me. And you sitting there begging her <laughs> not to fire you like my mama said. This The girl at the door begging time. Like, Candace, please let me in. Because Candace think she got these coins and whatnot. So she... <laughs> She done told Melissa, I don't need your services no more. You're done. I'm done with all of this or whatever. And told, uh, you know, and Melissa talking about, what am I supposed to do? Where am I supposed to go? Not Melissa. The little prostitute girl. I can't think of the girl's name right now. She's so dingy. She made me forget her doggone name. She made me so mad when she let Candy slap her. Honey. She got me upset and got me all in my feelings. <laughs> got my pressure all up. Got me having hot flashes. Girl, you better let Candace, uh, stop letting Candace smack you. That's why you're dinging now. 
But anyway, so, um, let's see, um, Hannah, she, um, goes back to work for Catherine, and Catherine, um, still on her old same stuff, she got <laughs> Derek over here trying to fix a stove that ain't broke, just so he can see Hannah, well, he leave this alone and let this go, and he wanted to smooch on Hannah, and Hannah's still playing hard to get, y'all know she just needs some, and I'm gonna tell y'all something else, Melissa need to be with Hannah, because Hannah was talking to the girl like the girl need to be talked to, she was talking to the girl like, like a mother would talk to a child, not how Veronica and her mama be treating her, and see, that's what the child needed, she needed somebody to talk to her like that, because how they be treating the girl is just outrageous, it don't make no sense, all that, what you gonna do with what you have and what have you, all that kind of stuff they be doing the most. That's just too too doggone much. And she need to be with Hannah because she get love and some nurturing and some guidance, some prayer. You know, a real mother figure. That's that's what the child needed. That's what she can get with Hannah. But anyway, um, Catherine had to break it on down to Hannah that uh, Jim stand there again because y'all know how Jim look at the math be trying to stay some say, say this that and the other to Hannah. I will tell y'all this: Catherine best have Jim together. Catherine better not be letting Jim over there in that house talking to Hannah. However, he feel like he want to talk to her. I know what he bet not be doing because that ain't his house. That's Catherine's house. So don't be letting him be up in there disrespecting people like he be doing and like he like to do. But anyway, so um, Veronica gonna um, run to that laptop. Y'all know that laptop. She be tracking Jeffrey that I think Jeffrey David and um, no, Jeffrey and Melissa on that laptop. I guess she got I don't know if she got trackers on their cards or whatever, but Benjamin, so uh, being into himself, it ain't done it on him that she, she tracking y'all, you ding back. Uh, stop thinking about yourself long enough because you would know then how she's staying now or whatnot or what have you because who going to tell her that? Or, or, or how she know where to find her? A duh. But anyway, he he about to leave the two. I believe Hannah dropped them on his head when he was little because he don't be acting right. But anyway, true to fashion and true to form, like I told y'all in my last review, I'm going to have to leave it somewhere across here, across the street, so y'all can see it. Veronica told Benjamin that she about to get, um, about to get, uh, my headphones falling. Even with him, she going to get back with him. I told y'all she was because she a petty baddy. And she's going to try to get back at him and all this kind of stuff. So she going to go on and whatnot tell him she had something coming from this, that, and the other. Y'all have to watch the show to see all the dirty dog stuff she was trying to say or whatnot or what have you. But anyway, sure enough, she going to go down there to that jailhouse and she trying to get... Jeffrey to sign some papers to get him out of jail. Jeffrey said, I ain't signing them papers because it ain't right what you're trying to do. She said, oh, Jeffrey, son, you want to get out of here? You want to go love on your little girls, Jeffrey? Jeffrey, you being such a little girl. All this, that, and the other. Trying to get Jeffrey to sign this paper. Jeffrey better not sign that doggone paper. Jeffrey, wait for your daddy. Don't listen to your mammy. Your daddy is on the way. Just be patient. The man on the way, he coming for you. He leaving the house now. Nah, just, just chill out and wait. Ugh. They got my pressure up. Pressure. Pressure's just high. Got me having hot flashes. Got me sweating. Weight all up and down. My hair falling out. And all of this going on because they got my nerves bad and carrying on and whatnot or what have you. So anyway, moving on. So, um... That's just about the most of this show that I can think of right now. I'm trying to think of anything else that's important to happen. Don't, this show, it's just typical. It's a soap opera. So y'all know how soap operas go. They go slow day to day, day to day. It's just what that what it is. It's a soap opera. That's what this show is. So, honey, we'll just have to wait to the next show to see what's going on because... You know how it is. We have a slow episode, maybe two slow episodes, but you got to watch the episodes because they build up to that big episode, okay? So, anyway, y'all watch the show. Tune in. Tell me what y'all think in the comments below. Give me y'all opinion because you know I want to know. Let's get this conversation jumping and popping because, honey, <laughs> 
It's I think it's about to get real good. It's about to go down. And then um Erica trying not to tell David she loved him, but she kinda said it, but she didn't say it. Girl, I think they go on and say it. I think she, the girl really do love David. I don't think that um I told y'all this the last show. No, I'm gonna say it again. I don't think she gonna go through with no um, Con and David. I think she, she really do love him. And why wouldn't she love him? What other man gonna do for her the way David did? Honey, he good on the eyes. His body is tight. What was not li- not to be falling in love with? She may not have been in love with him before, but at this point, honey, girl, you <laughs> you ought to be in love. Having sex five times a day. He done bought you a mansion down in the rich people neighborhood, honey, where you got the fountain down in the front. You ain't never had one of them before. So why would you not be happy about that? Anyway, y'all tell me what you think. I'll see y'all in the next video, the next review, or the next haul, DIY, whatever it is. Stay tuned because I got some hair videos coming for y'all too. And I'll catch y'all later.